Welcome back, you Steve. We are playing through the witness. We're finding environmental puzzles. And I'm fairly sure we decided a while ago that we were gonna try and have a crack. Just like a cord chilling out here. Not sure what that cord is for. Uh, but we're gonna have a crack. <coughs> Excuse me, the windmill. Uh, and see how that goes. Uh, there's also still... <coughs> still a number of puzzles, I believe, in here that we haven't figured out yet. I think perhaps head in there first. Oh, windmill, you taunt me. I remember us seeing one of the uh, pillars, the tie fires, the obelisks, whatever they are uh, going to be called, somewhere else, and going, there seems to be a bunch of puzzles that look like they fit on this grid that we just haven't kind of done yet. The question here is, how do I do that puzzle without going through that gap? Did that one. So it certainly looks like there's something here that we should be able to do. Maybe there's just another way of solving it that I haven't seen for these. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Is there something I've missed in these solutions? Another way of solving that that doesn't go behind there. Another way of solving that that doesn't go around the back. So let's go check those out. Let's go check out if we can find a way to redo those so that they're not cut off. So here, like, is there a reason why I can't go this way? It just needs to go out. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so if we go this way. Valid. Get back up? No, this way. Go check. If I done goofed or not. Seems like a good start. Seems like a good start. I didn't I didn't connect that bit apparently. Oh boy! We're gonna have to be more careful about that. Oh boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sold. Now we can wake up there and lock it in. 
Uh, but that looks like it's correct, so you can probably kind of go like, cool, that's good. How are we going to do this one? Um, without going up in that corner. can't have it because you can't go that way. Yep. Okay, so this doesn't exist. It's a gap. So how do we get all of these separated without that and without kind of also without um, going back here so if we did this They're not paired probably, but they're not touching. It's been a while since I looked at these particular blocks. I'm not sure if that's going to do it. Uh, let's give that a go though. Okay, so go this way, this way. to walk back through. Right, that top bit isn't necessary. So, That's locked in, and I think we can do that from up there. I think. Maybe. We'll find out. And our next one here, it's like, well, we can't go back there. We can't see that. And we probably can't go under there. Can't see that. Um, where is this puzzle? Right. Um, they can't rotate. They can't rotate and they can't touch each other. So how are we going to... Can we do... If we did up this way instead... the opposite shape. Is that possible? Let's have a look. I'm gonna do, uh, but I kind of have to touch here, but maybe I can walk around the entire other way. I think I can. I think that's puzzles only are hard to solve 
It gets partially hard to solve because I can only approach it from one direction. If I can approach it from this other direction, I think perhaps it actually becomes easier. Um, let me go see if I can figure that one out from up there. This one's going to be a similar thing. Those can rotate though, right? So that doesn't seem like that should be as troublesome. But again, might be a case of it's easier from the other side. Let's go see if we can figure that one out um, from up there and see if these two we've done are correct. Oh, I'm so close here. I'm so close. This one, though. Ah, I'm also so close. I have to go up there. Well, I can go fix those. These can rotate, so that would have to be... That needs another bump there. That needs a bump up there. It's like, oh, maybe I can see it. No, no, I can't. Arr, we're getting there though. We're getting there. This this bit here, this little bit that we're doing right now, does feel a little bit back and forthy, right? Because these things are far enough apart that it's a little bit annoying to keep running backwards and forwards between them. I feel like if I was Using pen and paper, though, this would be less of a problem. Um, but I, I still feels a little bit. Um, Let's go confirm that. No, let's do this other one first. It's so close. We need to go up one there. I feel like that's kind of what I already have. That's so correct. And the progress has been made this day. That'll be nice. It'll be nice to heal those puzzles. Click in. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Ah, good. Oh. Interesting. I can't move over the ink. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so if I was trying to solve this one, I'd want to rotate both of those. Seems fine. 
Maybe? No, because it's supposed to go to the exits. How can it get to the exit? Can it go... Hmm. Fix that pink one. And look at how we might rotate these blues. Blues. Okay. So. For it to still be touching this one though but that's still being closed i guess is the problem so how could we make it out of the negative space i suppose can we make it so that, that shape is there but i'm not making it That might be something. We might be able to do this. Well, that's not what they end up doing. Because we butt heads. went this way we can't we cut it off if we did this back there how else what might we achieve that that would mean this one is here so I don't think we can do that because we end up with overlapping points. Hmm. Hmm, overlapping points is a problem for us there. All right, pink one. So you need to go round that and then come back. That came around here. It's like around that. Let's try. Let's try. something else I can do here is a way that I can do
something that simple. Because now I like I know what I want to do now, I just can't do it. I don't know if I can even touch that um, that panel the way I want. Should ink. I like that I can escape out there. Makes me wonder if I can do it backwards. Okay, so. Looks like we kind of have to go back here. And so this bit is kind of a given. But now I have no way of separating these. It doesn't look like I can walk through there, but if I could come back this way and finish it, if I could do this part here, go the long way around and come back, let's see. And that wants me to walk there, but is that meant to be enough of a hint to go the long way that I meant to see that? Let's see, let's see. mobility around here a little bit. I think I'm actually there, I just need to <laughs> not touch any bad ones and come back and hit that. So yeah, having to work them from both ends is pretty cool and like a totally new thing, I kind of think. I don't recall having to do this before. Like working from both ends to meet the middle. We've done things that are kind of like it with um, like the objects that have two directions to the puzzle. But I don't think we've done one where we actually work from both ends to the middle. Nice little bi-directional A star there. And we got it. All right. That's good. That's good stuff. And that, I think so we're going to leave this one today. It's a pretty good haul. I don't want to get greedy. I want to end it on a high note. And that is a high note. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon. I've been Steve. Bye.